for a special ceremony of court to recognize the career of one of the most popular players of the ATP Tour. In June this year, one of Finland's greatest ever sports stars decided that 2015 would be his final season on the ATP World Tour. Jarko Niemannen has come a long way since he first fell in love with tennis. I come from a small village and a smaller city and that time in, the, in that, uh, that city we had uh, a lot of uh, like older guys who were best in, uh, in Finland. I could practice with, uh, with them, we are good, good coaches and uh, yeah, I was lucky to have those older, older uh, guys to hit with. After turning professional 15 years ago, Jarko has gone on to become Finland's most successful ever player. A former world number 13, with two ATP World Tour titles to his name, he retires with the admiration of the tennis world. I think Jarko is a wonderful guy, number one, starts with that. Is, uh, I know him since, yeah, I guess almost 20 years maybe, so we go way back. Uh, had some great matches, finals as well, and uh, on all surfaces basically. So. Uh, it's been, it's been a pleasure playing against him. Every year he's always got some top wins. He is a great servant to the game. He, he is a, he's a kind of player that is always going to put up a battle, pretty much on whatever surface you choose. He's the sort of guy you know, that the tour has to have, players like him. Really top-class competitors who push their opponents hard all the way, take the job seriously. He's been a great servant for the tour. This guy is the prototype of the school that the young generation should look up to. He's one of the unsung heroes of the ATP World Tour and I think the game will be poorer for, for him taking a well-earned retirement. Uh, what I enjoyed the most about him was his fair play, his great spirit. On, on the court and off the court he was a, a real gentleman and enjoyed my time and of course now I wish him all the best for, for what's to come. Obviously the wins are, are nice and that's why you go out there to, to compete and try to win but in the end this has been a really big uh, school of life. I think I learned a lot about myself. I think in the end that's what counts the most. But there is, there's a lot of uh, moments that I, I will always remember. Congratulations Jarko on an amazing career and thanks for the memories.
and an Exonas. And uh, we all know from experience that, uh, that Jarko loves an Exonas. Uh, I remember especially at some, some tournaments that he liked, especially player hotels with nice spots. I remember a few years ago the Hamburg tournament had a great spa. And you, could, you always knew that Jarko would be there in the evening, just squeezing in another sauna. How would you describe him as a person? Very humble, uh, always nice to everyone. Uh, you know, very friendly and uh, a guy that everyone uh, loves to, to see uh, winning matches out there. You know, I mean, we all we all fight against each other on the court, but uh, I think in the locker room, you know, Jakob is one of those who always have the support from the guys. The best memory for sure is Stockholm Open 2001 when he made the final from 30 goals. Uh, but also, uh, I had the opportunity and the privilege to work with him for more than one and a half year. And I have to say, he's the one of the most nicest person I ever met. So, uh, great time with him. Yes, we're happy to be our special gift. It's a special day that first time to watch any great with the 16 year, thank you for 16 years on tour. And that's our way of saying thank you for all the nice memories we gave us here in Stockholm. Thank you, Jarko. I think being from England, I, uh, I just think I'm the one seat in the sauna, but uh, we'll see. Yarko, thanks for everything. Good luck in the future. You're very welcome back to Stockholm next year. Yarko Yeager! Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay.